Hey everybody, welcome to the show. This episode of the Greenlight Weekend Podcast is sponsored by Dead Room Comedy. Dead Room Comedy is a production company and comedy group based in Denver, Colorado. Check out their website, deadroomcomedy.com, where you can subscribe to weekly one-liners, get an email every Monday with original jokes to laugh through the workday. Also, check them out at Dead Room Comedy on Instagram and Facebook, where you can find sketches, stand-up clips, and find out when live shows will resume. Um, I'm a big fan of Dead Room Comedy. Not only are they good friends, but that whole weekly one-liner thing, they post on their Instagram, they post on their website, you get an email. But the comics that send in jokes, they actually pay them for that joke. So I'm fucking, how can you not support a company like that? And they're supporting us, so I love them. Um, one of the founders of Dead Room Comedy is actually the guest on today's podcast. His name is Elliot Weber. He is a super funny comedian. I've always looked up to him, even though he's younger than me. And uh, fun fact, if you are a new listener, he uh, made a bet with me about a year ago that in two years that I'd be gay. And I got to be honest, I'm showing the signs. I went on a pretty uh, deep dive on Elton John today. So I guess I might, I don't know, I might owe Elliot some money if I'm gay. We'll see. I got to girlfriend now it seems fine i don't know i don't think i'm gay we'll see uh but yeah today was a really fun episode it was elliot and dave and uh we just caught up we haven't seen elliot in a while and he had an opportunity to come down for the weekend um i think he mostly just slept in a hammock he stayed here one night but yeah he he loves durango and you can tell when you talk to him about it and uh he just wanted to come home he there wasn't a lot for him in Denver. If there's no comedy, why be in a big city, you know? It's kind of the thing. And, uh, yeah, this just in. We all have coronavirus now. Thanks, Elliot. You're a good friend. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> this was a fun one. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Um, as always, shout out to Ethan Esparza at Hip Hop Trip on SoundCloud. Links will be in the description. But he is the soundtrack to the Greenlight Weekend. All the music you hear on this podcast is from Ethan Esparza. And uh, we love you guys. Hope you enjoy this episode with Elliot Weber. Hey, look, I just made it happen. Another young man out here rapping. All these antagonists coming at me. Saving the day, I'm the captain. Just imagine that I am a hero. Truth is, I ain't even got a scene, though. I don't ball, probably can't make a beat, though. Play a motherfucker out like Debo. That's right, little man with a big hook. And I got a big brain reading them big books. I don't make shit rain. Blinking when I switch lanes, man. I play my shit safe. I don't get shit. Does that mean we're live? Yeah. We're doing it. Well, live's we're a strong here. word, but we are recording. Opposite of, li- yeah. <laughs> opposite of live. Yeah. Opposite of live. Opposite of live. We are dead. We are now dead. Yeah, and despite the ability to actually edit it, I refuse to. It just right. takes way too much time. <laughs> Why bother? To edit out anything. Oh, yeah. Like, you really have to fuck up for me to go through it and try to find it. Yeah, pretty much N-word, right? Yeah, mm. Jadrian uh, <laughs> kind of incriminated himself yesterday, but right, yeah, you've said that too. If you but, incriminate yourself, well, but it depends if the statute of limitations it, is up, then it doesn't matter. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nope. yeah that's especially actually, <laughs> if you incriminate somebody that's not here. That's fair. You know, get a little too specific every once in a while. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. people yeah. get so comfortable that you just start letting shit fly like yeah, you're not yeah. being recorded. Yeah. Which is a risk. Uh, yeah. Give away details to an ongoing investigation. Correct. <laughs> Why are yeah. nails black, bro? I painted my nails. Because he work. works construction. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no. Wait, what? Dude, so I, I painted them like two days. Well, my girlfriend painted them, first of all. Uh, um, after she checked your prostate? Yeah, after she checked my <laughs> prostate. Because I pee a lot right. for the listeners. I pee a lot, so I had my girlfriend check out my prostate. She says, it seems fine. I Just said, that feels great. And yeah. then, <laughs> Just a Wednesday night, right? Yeah. And then... Um, she painted my nails, and then, like, two days later, I started working construction, and people made fun of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to keep my gloves on as often, but, like, some st- like we had, like, tie rope and stuff, so yeah. we'd take your... And people were like, oh, you paint your nails, and I was like, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, worse, my girlfriend does yeah, it. Yeah, no, it was yeah. my girlfriend, you fucking gay people. Yeah, and after this shift, I'm going to go suck some dick, too. <laughs> yeah. what my do girlfriend you and this that? guy, I'm fucking... Dude. Paint my nails, all right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, three hours into my first day, some one guy on the site was like... Hey guys, how do you know Elliot's gay? They're, they're like, how? And I was like, oh, he got me. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, his dick tastes like shit. And I was like, oh. <laughs> cool, dude. 
Well, you forget to like, shit on somebody. It's good to shit on yourself as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that's, that's a true. Forget to be homophobic and inc- incriminate yourself in the uh, the homophobia there. I don't know if it is, but that just sounds like a David Tell joke. Yeah, it totally <laughs> does. It's, yeah. it's to the point where it's a street joke. Yeah, sure. it's a, exactly. Sure. It's a classic. Yeah, but it, it's weird that you like, like, wow, you like you just assume everybody hears. Like, I'm not gonna bring it up and start to have this conversation. So right. I was like, yeah, that's how you know, not the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not um, the fact that his nails are painted. Yeah. Not that. Well, that's how it came up. Oh, okay. That, yeah. Um, how long before somebody asked you if you were gay? Like, did, did no that one, come up? That's the thing. No one ever actually asked me if I was gay. They were just, just three hours in. Yeah, this they, guy just started, just said they just started calling me gay. And I was dude. like, well, if the shoe fits. I was going to say, dude, if that guy's got that good of a gay dog, <laughs> you know, he's probably, he he's probably gay. Nails. Yeah, he's, yeah, but. The guy called himself. He's like, I am the gayest straight man you'll ever meet. Huh, really? I would I would argue I might be. Yeah. So. And I was like, hmm. have you met Brian? <laughs> I'm let you listen to this podcast. I've got a bet writing on this guy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, still no signs. Still no signs. Though, I mean, you just haven't seen. I've seen him. Have you? Yeah, you can't self-diagnose. Fair enough. Sometimes it has to come from the outside. Sometimes it has to come from, I think his name was Mike, at a construction site. That's, <laughs> how, you, I mean, that's how you know. Hell yeah, man. How's everything going up there? Oh, yeah, you were just telling us about this Parking oh, yeah, lot show. I want to know about that more because I was I just texted <laughs> oh, yeah. Jill today. I was like, that parking lot idea sounds good. Yeah, so um, it is a great idea. They have a FM transmitter is the piece of technology you need because then people just tune their radio dials. Oh, okay. So, but you could also just do. Oh, it. I just thought they had their windows down. Dude. You could do it without that if it's a nice day out. Right. You could just do it, and yeah. people, people like the idea of drive-in style. People bring like camp chairs or whatever, and you just sit far away from everybody else and watch. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it was raining, so it was kind of like I was standing out in the rain. The host, it was raining so hard on the host at the beginning. Oh shit! <laughs> he's he's doing, holding the mic and everything. Dude, lightning, Fuck all lightning, that. lightning, and then just rain coming down on this like sound equipment. They had like a small umbrella over it, but I thought for sure we were gonna see someone get struck by lightning. Oh, dude, that's dude. I was playing yeah. a show at Purgatory once in a tent, but the tent got struck by lightning, and all of us got shocked through our instruments. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's terrifying. Shit. Yeah, yeah. The but, lead. but what a show, man. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't bad. Yeah. Was, I, was, yeah. I was like, should we just wait? If we wait 15 minutes, this will blow over. And the guy was like, they came to see a show. If someone gets struck, it'll be quite the show. He was joking, but also. Dude, that reminds me. I don't know how. All right. So in the like, mid-90s, probably 95, 96, Gavin Rossdale from Bush uh, performed the song Glycerine on a stage uh, at some festival. And it was pouring down right on him. But he's playing with the electric guitar, power amp, like everything. And I just... I. To this day, I don't know how he didn't get electrocuted. Probably God, be my guess. If God I, loves that song. God, yeah. yeah, God loves Bush. God's like, let it rip, dude. Let it rip. Yeah. No, don't and shave the, your pubes. God Bucky. loves Bush. Yeah, he was exactly. like, let it rip, and then he just struck an elementary school or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> lightning cannot be created dude. or destroyed. Just transfer. I would sacrifice yeah, yeah. hundreds of kids for Bush. Yeah, he was like, this song rips. Elliot. Yeah, was, yeah. Oh, you're just going little. balls to the wall now, dude. dude. Yeah, well, balls okay. To the wall. I guess that's what I was saying too. I was like trying to sober up this year, and then I did that parking lot show, had a couple beers, and I just went on this rant about like, dude, bullshit. I get to try again next year. This doesn't count as a failure. This counts as ex- like, dude, you it's s- it's like it's like if you were like in college this year, you don't get like, and you like fucked up this semester, you shouldn't get a fail. You should get like a like a NA drop or some right. kind of like. Yeah, this won't go on uh, your this yeah. won't go on your record as you fucked up. This is just like you know Dude, I was doing better with drinking at the beginning of the quarantine, especially I was doing more I was working out more or for the first time in years. And um but when I started back at Steamworks, even though we're just doing the takeout, I just started uh, I mean, I, I've curbed myself since then. But for the first like week and a half I was at Steamworks, I was drinking like conductor every day and fucking Well, you told the listeners of this podcast that it was only three days. Oh, yeah? So was it a week and a half? I think it might have been. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. I could clarify that. The first week, the first seven days, I was doing, like, pressure washing stuff. The restaurant wasn't opening yet. Right. And there wasn't, like... I don't pick up a pressure washer without a beer. Yeah, no. Fuck all that. I did. I did, but it was worth it, dude. They paid me fucking a grand to pressure wash for six hours a day for three days. Nice. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Where is all this money? Well, I, I have yet to find it they in the got, world. They got it from the government. Uh, the, the copy. PPE the loan. Yeah. That's why I saw it. That's PPP yeah. loan. PPP. PPE is personal protective equipment. Okay. PPP yeah. is... Works construction now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, PPE is for nurses. Yeah, yeah. Or well, it's, the it's mask. for anything. It's, it's, in the oil field, PPE the mask. is still... Yeah, 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 I guess it just means personal protective yeah. equipment. Hard hack. Yeah. PPE, PPE. So yeah, when they're paying that fat, dude, I didn't. I didn't need a beer. I would have done it, but I did. I, you know, they gave us a couple little beers sure. throughout the show. 
But uh, yeah, but then since we opened, it was like the first three days of being back open, man. I was buying, like, because you could take cocktails out the window. You can buy whatever. Right. Yeah. We were getting pretty lit. Yeah, I know yeah. I'm going to have a shitty day at work if I get out of my truck and my boss hands me a beer. Just like, oh, fuck, really? He's just prepping you. <laughs> He's bribing you. Well, he's just like, he's like we're here. Yeah. This is what we're doing. This is going to suck. At least beer I'm makes right. it better. Yeah. Yeah. It does. You got that right. Have anything. Even when we were moving that mulch or that soil, dude. Yeah. Did you guys get stimulus checks? I got mine yesterday, finally. I got mine really? right off the bat, but it was. I got mine the first day. Direct we deposit. Yeah. Oh, so I got a mail check, oh. which was nice because it actually said uh, Pr- President Donald J. Trump. <laughs> I got a letter. That, Did he the, sign it? On the memo line. He doesn't. He can't sign it because it's from the Treasury, but he just right, put his right, name on the right. fucking memo line. I know, but remember he said he wanted to sign every check. Yeah, or, and I mean, they were like. Every, like, yeah, and they were like, copy. "Well, you can't do that because that's not coming from you. That's not how checks work." And it's he was hilarious. like, "Well, then let me put my name on the memo line." <laughs> it's hilarious how many sa- things he says he wants to do, and then the people that actually know something are like, can't. "Yeah, you just can't do that." Can't He's do like, that. "Okay." Yeah, I got a not like not a presidentially worded letter. You know what I mean? It, Wait, after the say- direct deposit, I got a letter that's like, oh, "Just so you, you know." I gave you money kind of thing, but wow. it's all just like Donald J. Trump, you know? It's, He's like, yeah. just so you know, me, 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 me. Yeah, all vote right. vote for me. If yeah, there's fuck ev- trees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, Emails work. Sure. Dude, we didn't even send you a check, but we might as well waste some yeah. paper to tell you. Me, me. Dude, Andrew Yang must be pissed. He was like, I was trying to buy the votes, you fucker. Yeah. That was right. my, my, I was trying to bribe the Chinese way. He would have bribed me <laughs> if he made it all the way, dude. Uh, now, again, I'm in a, we're in a shitty situation where we got this current president against or donald trump against versus trump. another shitty democratic candidate dude yeah. like i mean i i would prefer joe biden but i mean he's losing it dude yeah uh, i wonder how much he's losing do you think it's just like because the you think it's a game like, no i just think that the clips of him fucking up are, are exaggerated the ones you see more than the clips of him just saying 100 percent. today Absolutely. i ate oatmeal for breakfast because if he sure. gets that out coherently it's not a newsworthy story right nobody gets and everybody shit. if you're talking that much everybody's gonna fuck up but eventually then, and, and the, the first thing i thought was that's really not that healthy <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's a lot of carbohydrates, Joe. Yeah, bro. Yep. Get some fruit in there. You're not you. looking great <laughs> as yeah. is. Yeah, maybe skip. Have you heard of intermittent fasting, Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do that, but it's mostly for financial reasons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you work, work service industry, too. So do you know on the stimulus check what percentage you have to tip out the busters with that or no? What? <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, 0%. Oh, okay. That's how much. I just, yeah. Yeah, I was one. Okay, I'm used to having to. We don't even have busters right now, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're canned. Yeah, the they're gauntlet. fired. You did not make it through the gauntlet. Yeah, but no, that government run is running out. Like they already like Print sent more, out an right? email. They sent out an email to this employees, basically mm-hmm. telling us like the amount what we were told we would get if we decided to come back because they needed people. Yeah. Like we kind of were under the impression, like maybe I mean maybe falsely, but like they didn't bother to clarify it but they just said like you know we'll give you this much a week and you'll get some tips too and we kind of assumed that that was until we reopened right now that money's running out we're not opening it back up and and um the paycheck cut and, down. and they're about to cut down hourly like a lot yeah yeah like we were getting a salary basically of a grand a week Dope. you know and now it's still fat because we were getting 25 bucks an hour right but it's not guaranteed 40 hours and then next week it goes down to 20 then 15 then the week after that it goes back to whatever your wage was before covid and like I, your untipped like your six yes, six whatever yeah, four dollars an like hour nine bucks an hour probably right yeah minimum and wage I, for a tipped shit, employee. so like i'll i'll, I'll work but, I mean, I'm going to have to collect unemployment also. Right. You know? Yeah. Well, then they're giving you that option. Yeah. That's yeah, good. definitely, man. They're they're going to have to work with us, and they know that. And they fucking – I love those guys. Like, like I work for the best people in town, I feel like. Yeah. They they wouldn't they wouldn't do this the way they are if they didn't have to. And I bet right. you the way they're going about it is the best possible way for all the employees. Right. Or I don't think the best it's a, they could come up with. I don't th- yeah, exactly. I don't think it's a selfish move on their part whatsoever. That's good. Well, you with those good loans, point. they have to show records of that money going into salary or right. paychecks yes, yeah. and rent for the business. No, that's right? true. Because I actually heard, like, yeah, they had to hire a certain amount of people to mm-hmm. because they had to, get to the loan. divvy out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, my uncle was like, because I was looking for a job because right, we didn't remember. know what was going to happen. Happen, but he you know the loan came through and he's like yeah just so you know if you got any other jobs you have to quit those because oh, <laughs> i really? have to pay you like right. Right. otherwise this money dries up real quick or, yeah uh, or you have to pay it back like it turns from a yeah. grant into to a, a loan. loan that's right exactly <laughs> with 10 percent interest it's a grant <laughs> yeah. as of now 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, dude. Uh, are you are you, do you guys doing anything at Ten Barrel? Um, yeah, they were paying. Well, I mean, we got the Anheuser Busch money, dog. Oh yeah. So you, okay. They were. But I mean, slinging food out the window or. No, they closed down. It was too expensive to have that pub open for, yeah, sure. for takeout. It's a huge goddamn building. Yeah. Um, they were doing that originally, and then that got too expensive, so they closed. They were paying us. Um, we were getting eighty five percent of our tipped average. Oh, that's cool. So my my tipped okay. average was like. Or no, I was getting forty five percent of my tipped average. But still at eighty five percent hours. <laughs> it was like a oh. whole same thing. Like they're trying oh, okay, yeah. to they're trying to do the best they can. So I was right. getting like thirty five hours a week because I was working forty before that. And then they were like, um, your average tipped income was like thirty five dollars an hour, you're getting forty five percent of that, so you're getting like twelve an hour okay. or whatever. Which was nice. They're but, working with you. Though. Yeah, and yeah. they were they were upfront about how lo- they're like they're like, All right, we got another week, we got another week, and then eventually they were like, Yep, uh, we're gonna have to stop this in April. At the end of April. Got you. So same. So yours is so you're done there right now. Yeah, but then but I got. I can got you that. come back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm still on staff. I got the, um, you know, I got that stimulus, stimulus check. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's crazy how fast you'll spend twelve hundred dollars if you just get it all at once. <laughs> yeah. That's my paycheck every time. Yeah. I'm just like dude, gone, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Amazon and then close out of that. I put and mine in my savings. Rent, I'm dude, doing I'm things a little different, man, because like I, I and I didn't realize this. I did not realize how much I just spent at the bars. But dude, I've been, I still have a lot of unemployment since from before i went back to work you know and it's just because like with the bars i mean that's i mean that's a testament how much i goddamn drink i Uh i realized that like just how much i don't know if everybody heard the last episode (laughs) oh dude Dude, i like how you said at the beginning you're you're like uh correcting his story like there were followers like last week he said it was one and a half weeks and now it's down to three days well Well, we've been talking twice (laughs) a week yeah 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 and technically he's right it was three days since we opened, but anyway. I hope yeah. I hope there's people following the story close enough. They have a timeline <laughs> drawn out. They're like, wait a minute, this story doesn't Dude, check would out. Be some sad, well, sad it's people, probably my dude. mom, honestly. <laughs> yeah, she's concerned about Dave, so she's <laughs> like, she's like, hey, your friend Dave's a liar. Yeah, <laughs> and a drunk. Yeah, no, she knows you're a drunk for sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> people here don't care as much as they do in Denver about any. What of do you it. mean quarantine? Yeah, any, uh, but, uh, it makes sense with the population density. In bigger cities, you have to be more careful. But, like, some dude, I stopped at Walmart when I got into town. Some dude just, like, thanked me for wearing a mask. Really? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Really? I believe that. It became required in Denver. You have to wear a mask if you're, well, there, if you're, if you're outside. Oh, like, really? Sunnyside Market right mm-hmm. here, they will not let you in without mask and gloves. Yeah. They will tell you to turn around. They will bring and, something and out to you. And gloves, huh? They supply gloves, though. That's what's mm-hmm. up. So there's a box of gloves outside. That everybody touches. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and then you put on gloves. Well, you're supposed to take them out. <laughs> yeah. Sanitize. And, and then put, put the on your yeah, but you still touch the box that the gloves are in, and Dude, everybody. Yeah, does. but you take them out, then how sanitize. Much this, oh, okay. How much of this is bullshit? How much of this is like the TSA? You know, like I'm three sure ounces, like six feet, we because it can't go seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Sunnyside's doing it because well, a lot of their employees are old, frankly. Yeah, like and your own liability, and it's probably something involved with insurance. Like, yeah, well, yeah, makes sense. Cut down yeah. on your liability as much yeah. as you can, which is also the reason some restaurants are closing. They're like. Man, if somebody comes in here uh, when we're doing takeout and gets sick and they try and sue us, that's mm-hmm. like not even worth it. Dude, the first three f- or three of the first four or five phone calls I took today between 11 and 12 were people asking if we were open. They're like, we're coming in from out of town. Yeah. We want to know if we can come in because yeah. like a lot of them come from Texas where they're starting to reopen. It's the and busiest shit. restaurant in town. And yeah. it's the busiest restaurant. And yeah, people, I mean. People travel to Durango to oh, go to Steamboat, yeah, okay. which is crazy. I don't, I don't mind them calling and ask if we yeah. are, but when I tell them no i don't understand why they insist on asking me when we're opening up it's like it is totally based on the government because you're the person they would ask hey, they're David. speaking they to watch, a representative yeah, but, of the business okay fair enough but don't they watch the news and know that the governor has to make the no, law they're from texas bro they don't get <laughs> our news yeah, yeah they don't it's um, national news they don't have news in texas yeah. <laughs> they have guns and rattlesnakes there's yeah. no news in this have, house so. yeah <laughs> oh, I get man. my news from Joe Rogan, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And that's why we have all these issues going on. So that's most people. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so I don't Denver, think that's a terrible way to get your news. No, it's not. Compared it's to de- the actual it's mainstream. De- it's news. definitely not. I get a lot of my political news from uh, Bill Maher. That's, um, a, that's a good way to go. Do and I, and uh, The Daily Show. I just go down like to that. the state capitol building and start asking <laughs> homeless people. Oh, yeah, like what do you no, think? And uh, yeah. the guy's like, "There's no virus." First of all, that's what he said. He said it like that. I don't yeah. know what, what he was, but that's what he said. Have you? Yeah. Who's the <laughs> John Mulaney? The I'm new in town. You yeah, know yeah. that joke? Yeah, yeah, that's the voice you just. Made. It was that guy. Yeah. It was the same dude from that bit, John Mulaney. Yeah. I have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new in town, and there's no virus. <laughs> so I'm on that. I'm with that guy. This is all bullshit, man. 
And whatever whoever I talked to last, whatever they said, that's my new stance. That's what I'm doing. Do you, have, <laughs> do you know anybody that got it? Uh, personally, what's Denver like? We know Christopher Roy who got it. Oh yeah, did he? Yeah, he. But he doesn't. But he's fine. But he didn't get it. He doesn't know he got it. He's a strong hunch with a lot of evidence that he got it. Well, that, yeah. well he got tested, right? Well, no, that's how I feel about Cat. He didn't get tested. I'm yeah. almost positive yeah. he did. Uh, did he eventually? I thought he didn't. I know. I thought. He I thought didn't. he didn't. I, I found out about it because he was like, I thought he said I found a way to get tested. Or something. Maybe I don't by know. The oh, end I don't he didn't know. Get tested. But I'm I'm almost 100 percent sure Cat had it, dude. Because yeah, like, this is before I even heard of it, and she was so sick for so long that like I almost took her. I I like told her I was like I think I'm about to take you to the hospital. She didn't want me to because Jewish money. Jewish. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Money. We and said the same thing in different ways. Exactly <laughs> right. You guys read my mind, but um. No, but, like, she had, like, a really severe flu for, like, almost two full weeks straight, and then a subsequent cough for, like, three weeks after that. Like, it was, like, the total span was, like, four or five weeks, uh, and, like, and it was gnarly. Like, yeah. real high fever the whole time, a lot of coughing, a lot of the same symptoms. Yeah. I and it was January to February. Yeah. I had it in the in the time frame, like, early February, same thing. Not not Just for two weeks, Just a regular flu, though? I'm super healthy, maybe? so I'd imagine it would take less yeah, time. Yeah, well, me, I must but... be healthier than you because <laughs> I didn't get sick once this year. You just haven't been exposed to it yet, you idiot. I was the living with just... <laughs> I, My wife had it. Yeah. Or had something. The alcohol just kills everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> No, no, that's how I live yeah. my life. Trust Dude. me, dog. I'm like, drink another beer. I won't get sick. It what if that's what they find out? It like, has uh, crossed my mind. Like, what if I quit drinking beer and then I start getting sick again? Dude, like, uh, like uh, you've seen that always sunny. No, I really, well, it's probably because all, yeah. you work in a restaurant and you're exposed to a bunch of shit. Your immune system's like a fucking bodybuilder. It's right. pretty strong for how shitty I, you know, treat, treat my body. <laughs> right. Yeah. For not but giving it any attention. Your body knows right. it has to work yeah. its ass off, you know? I, I know, man. I'm like, should I even start working out? Like, right. I've, I've had a good run. The general. You've had a good run? <laughs> no, I mean, of not getting sick. <laughs> oh. It's been okay. like two years. It's yeah. like, I thought you were like, I'm old enough. No, literally. Oh, I thought you meant you went on a run one time. <laughs> and it was good. I did That's that. That's how many you did. I did yeah, that well, a few weeks ago. I thought you said you walked the stairs. For people that are paying attention to the story day. When you <laughs> no, I, I keep a journal, dude. I keep a journal of yeah, everything I drink, everything I eat, every exercise when's the last time you entered in that journal Yesterday, uh, dude. okay i'm yeah, just curious I, I, how I'm much a, you're keeping up on I'm anything up. that i think everybody wants to know you just I'm write down up. write down it's like an internet anything that enters the body anything that leaves the body the yeah. time <laughs> yeah the Pictures. consistency of the yeah. substance yeah. <laughs> like i'll even put in there today podcasts with elliot and brian you what? know like i just put notes but like it keeps me like when I look at it, it just keeps me like really accountable, uh, organized. Yeah, keep myself accountable, having some discipline. Yeah, and just the fact that's great, man. And just the keeping the notes part, like even though that takes two, three minutes at the end of every that's day, an, I'm great it's an at exercise discipline. And discipline yes. as well. I'm great at discipline, but I'm not disciplined enough to write down my goals. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucked up thing. If I'm like, I could a, be doing something. Yeah. <laughs> I got a fucking fence to build. Like, yeah, yeah. There's holes to be dug, literally. <laughs> and you just said no. Yo, you work today, though, right? Yeah. And then I came in here and edited a video, and then Ellie got here. Okay. Yeah, I've well, been, that's good. We've all had a productive day. It's been, all productive, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been in you town. You drove in today? Yeah, I've been in town for like an hour and a half. Pretty tired, man. Dude, it, yeah. So many autographs in mm. such a little <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, could you guys make... That's Six how I knew you guys yeah. were less relaxed about it. Your people just coming up to me like, what's up, man? Good to see you. Like, pat me on the back. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I get that you guys are fans, but you got to respect that. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. bring this back up to Denver or something, you know? Yeah, and, then you'll contaminate a bigger city. Yeah. You'll get more people if any, killed. I, I think if anything, I brought it I mean, think Denver. about that. You're so powerful, you can kill people. That's why Phil's not here. Yeah. <laughs> to be I, fair. Because I came from Denver. Yeah. <laughs> and Dave's here. Yeah. So if it was just me and Phil, he would have come. It's more like Dave's here because Phil's not here. <laughs> That's more of what it is. Yeah, you're the substitute. I'm substitute, That dude. checks out. Yeah. That checks out. Um, yeah. But Phil's yeah. not here because he wouldn't have been able to be in the birthing room when his child was born if he had been right. so he did the smart thing yeah you want to see that i think or do you if there's I'm a time to start like really being responsible and sacrificing like fun you know it's that's the one when you're having that's a kid the one yes. time yep he did the wise and uh, responsible thing dude. which makes me think he's gonna be a good dad you know right like i, I think he sacrificed yeah. like how many episodes now he just texts me updates when he hears them and tells us how fucking or tells me how fucking stupid we are right. <laughs> he's just like you know that's wrong right yeah i don't text you that i just think it and then ignore it when i listen well, thanks for the feedback. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If less people were like you, <laughs> <laughs> might be killed it. I started listening to the one with you guys. I got like 45 minutes in. I still got like... That was fun, dude. We were, just so, we were just so lonely. It was just good to like talk to someone yeah, from somewhere Yeah, and Jonas else. just... 
Yes. So Jonas just yeah. immediately a throws a fat up burrito. In front I wish of I could have seen it, dude. What a fucking I dick. wish I could have seen it. I saw it's you. Just audio. I saw you walk in from your truck into here with a bag, and I was like, if Dave walks in here with food and just like, I it's like, hey, let's start recording, and then just starts eating, I'm gonna lose my shit. Nah, nah. dog. I can't See, handle I, that. I, I thought yeah. about it on the way here, and I was like, because I did bring food. Like I might right. eat afterwards. And yeah. I was like, what do I want to do? Eat or podcast more. I was like, I'd rather podcast than eat. Just and did, if history's just... taught us anything, you are not great on a full tummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. But it's also just say like, hey, I'm just gonna eat, and then we'll do the podcast. And we're like, okay, cool, good idea. I could have done that too. Yeah, yeah exactly. We sat there do for 15 anything minutes. Anything besides what Jacob did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he waited till the podcast started. Dude, he's delusional. He thinks that I make the di- like. Sink full of dishes, and I was like, I'm going to Dragon Ball. He's like, will you do the dishes before you go? And I was like, okay, uh, those are all your dishes, bro. They've been there <laughs> for a week. He had artichokes, and there was artichokes in the dishes. And I was like, yeah, I'll do the dishes. And then I was looking at him, I was like, these are all his fucking dishes. Yeah, and he, But he believes in his own head that he that they're my dishes. And I'm like, you're... Oh, you, it's I easy, love dude. I didn't do the yeah. dishes because that's I'm just positive typical my roommate shit, though, dude. That is typical roommate shit. Yeah, no but how he's good a no, be, but he's wrong and I'm right. That's yes, we'll take pictures. Is all I was yeah. gonna say. <laughs> Photographic evidence. He cannot argue. Like, watch hey, him. Hey, watch. Take a picture and put the dish. I'm gonna do the dishes until I realize they were yours. Then I stopped. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, that's only fair. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I did them actually anyway because I'm just a good fucking person. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I, d- I did them and I was like, I just drove down here spitefully and I was like, I'm gonna say it as soon as I get on this podcast because <laughs> that's what a good person it does. It did seem pretty Agreed. pent up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that felt like eight hours worth of anger right there, yeah. dude. No, just the whole way here. Me do the fucking dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he, listening to Takashi six nine I the whole way. Art yeah. jokes. Yeah, <laughs> you're just having this argument, you had. Do you ever do that? What, argue with Jacob in my head? Argue with anybody in your head. Yeah, all the time. I do. Yeah. For sure. It's mostly just Jacob, honestly. That makes sense. <laughs> Even if it's a different person, it's just Jacob's I haven't seen him in <laughs> months. I argue with Jacob in my head. No, it's actually great. I get along with Jacob great. Yeah, no, it's actually great. He just came back like a week ago. Oh, apartment. nice. Because he was... Oh, was he with his folks? Yeah, he was quarantined with his parents. And then oh. he moved. Oh, so why didn't he have a job for three months? Uh, General... Uh, what, um, Incompetence? Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of a nicer way to say it. Bro. <laughs> no. But that's say what the you honest, mean. That's the honest way to say it. Man, that's, the, that's the honest way to say it. Uh, it no, I mean. Was it just because, like, every, for the same reason as everybody? Well, he got fired for one job because of exactly what you said. No. Oh, okay. yeah. They were like, well, we're going to let you go because you don't seem like you can do what we want you to. But it, Which was also <laughs> bullshit because they hired like their niece or something. But uh-huh. also Oh, that, that was the hostel. Yeah, yeah. But also they said they fired him because he couldn't – because he was incompetent, which, I mean, they were his dishes. So we'll just yeah. let – I mean, I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then he was applying for a job, but he was trying to – he's like – he's not in a position where he needs a job immediately, so he was trying to find something that would work out well. And then quarantine hit. Is he, he a like, good saver? Uh, I mean, he can just go live with his parents. And then that's not an option for me. Though. Yeah, well, there's, yeah. There's no that's point why in my need, day where I'm struggling and I'm like, I could just go live with my parents. Yeah, well, not yeah. an option. I that's really not an option. But if it for was, me, you would take your time and find a good job. Which well, is what my parents doing. would let me move in, but right. I don't. I refuse to give up my house. <laughs> right. Oh. Go live with my parents in fucking middle of nowhere, New Mexico. Right. Mm-hmm. And then fucking yeah, but his parents have. Uh, you a know, lot of money. A house in the suburbs of Denver with a trampoline. So <laughs> we have a trampoline. No, okay. my my parents' house is nice. Well, then parents, I don't know why you're. It's not a question <laughs> of like how nice the house is. It's just, it's just not an option, bro. Well, yeah. If I had a kid, I guess maybe like. You go move in with your parents. Well, that's the only time I could see myself making that sacrifice. Right. Like I was talking about Phil. The Phil sacrifice. Yeah, these girls at work oh, today oh, were I looking up uh, apartments in fucking in Durango, and I was like, it looks like there's a lot right now. And they're like, there's a whole lot of available. And my, my manager was like, yeah, all the lo- most of these kids are they probably just soon. going home. Yeah. Right. Everybody and I was like, well, shit. Well, and I understand I if no- it was that situation. Which you is, know? yeah. So they're 18, yeah. lost their job, 100%. Yeah, they had yeah. a plan. But, but you're, uh, what you're saying plan is what I agree and understand with is like, I mean, you're almost thirty. Like, yeah, right. And but like, I would, I'm thirty four. I work dude. a like, shitty job all day this. to pay yeah. rent. You guys are in the then... last thirty of your lives it's <laughs> going down quick for you too. I last guess. third, the last maybe third. him. Wow. He's Polish, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I have old people in my family. Yeah. Right, right, right. I, I feel like I'm the... shooting for late eighties, early nineties, bro. Okay, okay. I'm well, shooting for that too, bitch. Okay, well, I don't know if that. I might, maybe I had a math error. <laughs> you're gonna miss. But I figured. Last, no, and everybody last, in my family drinks last, exactly like I do. All yeah. I know is I'm 
young yeah. and successful. Yeah. And that's so mm. sorry about it. Define successful. You're working construction <laughs> with painted fingernails. Yeah. And he signs autographs at Walmart in his mind. Successfully. So yeah, the guy really was like successful. The guy was like, Hey, thanks for wearing a mask here. I was like, Do you want an autograph? And he was like, What? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm I used to I'm a big deal in this town. So uh, <laughs> I used to everybody moved on pretty yeah, quick. Yeah. yeah. Well, but they didn't though. Yeah. That guy didn't. He was uh, so he, he appreciated it. He, rec- guy did. He, he, he was pumped he, you wore a mask. Yeah, he yeah. he, rec- <laughs> he recognized you even though you were wearing a yeah, mask. Like, like, That's how much Elliot of an Flapper? impact you made. Elliot's yeah. mask is just a picture of this part of his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That would dude. be great. That's so Dude, do you have any shirts left no, dude, over? It's just my fucking posters me naked on the mask. Do you have any of those shirts left over? No, I don't have any more. Man, you could do that. It'd uh, be a hell of a mess. The Take shirt, just dude. the face of the You could have one that said Elliot, one that said Weber, and nice. then one with just your little person <laughs> on it. <laughs> dude, my girlfriend wears Just that. your beard and your li- and your mouth. That shirt's like, oh, I shouldn't have made those shirts. No, they're awful, dude. Yeah, I like so bad. Shirts I, don't go away that fast either. The, I, know. Uh, I got I shirts st- from a while I sometimes ago. wear it just to embarrass you. Dude, yeah, my girlfriend, <laughs> my girlfriend wears it, and I'm like, stop wearing it. And she's, <laughs> It's she's, not that bad. She's like, I like to wear it because then people go, who's that? And she goes, my boyfriend. <laughs> she's, wearing, she's full of shit. Nobody's she's as narcissistic as you. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I think it just makes me look like a psychopath. She's like, I, just, like, I date a guy with yeah, a shirt. Yeah, kind of Or I just gave her a shirt with my face on. I was like, you should wear this to your <laughs> friend's <laughs> house. And then they'll be like, who's that? And you'll be like, the guy I love. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, God, that's funny. It does seem... Allegedly? She moved to fucking Denver for it. Oh, uh, not for me. She moved to Denver, and I happened to be there because I told her she had to move there or else we were done. But, <laughs> right. Um, it seems more relaxed here, for sure. Like, you gave me you a high five. So? Yeah. I know. But we like, elbow touched. A hug. Yeah. But that's just... Well, for, it's like pronouns for me, dude. Like, I'll do my best, but you, uh, w- w- you decide. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I'll do the best <laughs> I can with what I know, but you tell me what you want me to do. Yeah, if it's not what you would expect, for sure, tell me right up front. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. just let me know. So I just start conservative. I wear the mask. I'm like, I'll what it. Like, oh, yeah. And then somebody if, try to nail you to a cross for being gay. What's going on there, yeah. dude? I actually, oh, you started working. No, I actually just woke up and I had that, and I think because I might actually be. Jesus, I would imagine there'll be another one would show up in a couple days, and then I would imagine the apocalypse will start to set in, and I'll realize my power. I feel like that, that's probably how it would happen. That's probably what it is. If Jesus dude. came back, he might not realize it for the first 24 what years. What kind of power so. are you thinking? Watered one, walk on water, that kind of All stuff? All the stuff he's got, man. He's got he's um the blue eyes white dragon attack whatever that is too yeah yeah <laughs> jesus has a, all the attacks man <laughs> blue eyes white dragon <laughs> a Yu-Gi-Oh reference ah do you know that one Mm-mm. neither uh, do you? no, no. Oh, never never <laughs> fell down the Yu-Gi-Oh with pokemon have worked better never nope mm-hmm. i don't know anything about either of it but you guys aren't even we're older than you yeah, yeah. yeah. well yeah so yeah we're back. not yeah Goes back to We're that. in our last third of our lives, bro. You gotta Dude, I be hate patient. I, my dad used We're to a little hate, slower. There were certain things my dad used to hate for some reason and it didn't make sense. Like Pokemon. He would like like for, for whatever reason he'd be like, I hate like I just don't like Pokemon. I don't want you to get into Pokemon. That's how uh, I felt when Pokemon Go came around. I was just like, I don't know it. why, but I hate Pokemon. And if, and if, no, your kid, yeah. if your kid was into it, you're like, I would fucking not let him play that. Yeah. But I feel like my dad was worried the things would make me gay, and then I did them anyway. <laughs> and he's like, see? Yeah. <laughs> he's he on some right. sides. I hate that yeah, he might started, I, hate, I hate that he might be right. He's setting like, up roadblocks. Yeah, he's like, you <laughs> G O <laughs> made you gay. He's just looking at my mom like Shouldn't let him play you with those gay-o. fucking cards with little cute animals on them. You fucking gayo. Yeah, if we made him dig holes like I wanted, he'd be way more resentful of us right now. And no, probably he'd just be not in gay. the closet that's and where probably I came commit from. suicide yeah, yeah, yeah. by now. Yeah, that's what my dad would have wanted. Yeah, exactly. He <laughs> just described my upbringing. Yeah. <laughs> and the closet apart. Nailing it. And why I don't want to go home. <laughs> I'm going to visit my family this Sunday. Third Sunday in a row. This Oof. is the first time in the last six years, seven years, I've had weekends off. Right. That's nice though, dude. It's fucking cool because I all my family's off. You, you know what I mean? For you, the first time on my day off, I can go see them on their day off. Nice. And fucking, if only there could be like an annual quarantine for Brian to have the weekend. Dude, off. I've heard people saying that. What, like, why don't we just? Um, it was me. I've been saying this. What if every <laughs> year I'm we people. just take off two months? Just every every year we take off. We go February, March. Yeah. Nobody does anything. Spain every, does siestas. We do the two that, month quarantine. Yeah. yeah, the world now does. Uh, fucking, we we work ten months out of the year now. How about that? It makes everybody appreciate their job more. Like yeah. I've been doing some bitch work at work. Yeah. But every day I'm just like. I'd rather be doing this and not making money. Like, and wait till and wait till things go back, man. When things first go back, there's gonna be a huge boom. I mean, granted, we need it, right? To yeah, balance. but everybody's poor but except peop- you. Is Dude, that right? Yeah. I Dude, just thought everybody was stacking money. There's a lot. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
the fucking <laughs> dude. You know who Let's probably did it. Big Resistance Band? That's who's stacking money right now. You guys know about the Big Resistance Band lobby? Oh, I get it. No. Yeah. That? <laughs> Kettlebells are sold out everywhere. Yeah, yeah. exactly, dude. The fucking no, the fitness, the home gym so if you dude, Yeah, if you were a, well. if you were a home gym yeah. sales, as if salespeople even exist anymore. It would just be a website. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think on it sold out of Kettlebells like day one. Yeah. And just then you just damn, people really? panicked, yeah. just like bidets and toilet paper. Yeah. And Dude, I got the bidet yesterday. And every yeah, oh, congratulations. Thank you. I feel every, really good every, about it. Every every ad on Instagram is just like, get this new home workout equipment to, mm. to get you through quarantine. It's crazy. I like all the advertising changes. Like, stamps dot com. Given our troubling times, are you is your company moving in in the right direction? Given the the new demands of a delivery based economy, and you're like, holy shit, just relax, man. It's gonna go back. Well, yeah. they. They need something to do too, you know. Right. All the marketing people, like <laughs> right, they're yeah. the busiest. My yeah. buddy Sean Mo owns yeah, Animus Marketing. That's who's and fun. he's he's working way more because every company yeah. he's just it's fucking they're updating it, him all the time with their new hours and new right. services they're allowed to offer and mm-hmm. medical. Centers oh, he's he busy. He's so for. busy right now, dude. He yeah, he didn't st- do his was, podcast for like two months. He was still working when I left today. I didn't even talk to him because he was so busy and there's a lot going on. I would have kissed like, him right on the mouth. He fucking um. Oh, who's this? Sean Mo. He's, he's, he's a, a big fella. Wouldn't he's kiss him. A friend of ours, but he uh, would. would kiss him. He's lovable. Oh, he's and witty. a hands, right now handsome about, man. I'd, yeah. I'd rub masks with him. I wouldn't. Kiss and he's he's him. been you, sober. You tingle and beards <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the be Avatar. Hot. Yeah, just beard beard weave. I heard Avatar. How many guys have you done that with? What the Avatar beard weave? With uh, how many? Six. I've done it with. Just like when I got little, little I see peach one on, fuzz I can, here. With the light, I can see one when on When I got chin. peach fuzz <laughs> here. I uh, cannot. And they got peach fuzz down here. I can. <laughs> 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 it's just a baby arm. It's like, remember when Groot was big that he became yeah, a baby? It's more like, oh, it's yeah. like it's like a, a Velcro under a microscope. Right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. exactly what it is. I heard the Avatar sequel came out today. Did it? On oh, Netflix. Oh, wow. Like, is what? that the sequel, The Last Airbender? No, no, no. I that about, is completely different. I was talking about Avatar. Is it? Oh, I don't know, man. No, I, yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. like Avatar, dude. No, I was about Ava- the only one. Avatar, the uh, fucking other one. James Cameron movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not That's what out. I'm talking about. With the big about. blue people? That's different than the, yeah. the Airbender. No, oh, it's a fucking the... cartoon from the early 2000s. Totally different. Oh, it actually was bitch. around the same time as Yu-Gi-Oh. It's really good. It's well. It's well written. The movie was garbage. It has nothing to do with James Cameron's movie? Nope. No. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. I literally read it. I didn't even see the logo. Don't mind him. He's Polish. Yeah, and old. I'm the last third of my life. Did you guys know? I learned this from listening to your podcast. Polish people can't read. Is That's that true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they can't. Love how your face lit up like I was going to do the big dick thing. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's what you expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I've found out some interesting news about that lately. Yeah. We're like in the top 10. Top 10%? In, in, of Europe. In, in Europe. Ten. Only only of the smallest continent. Yeah, yeah. We're in the top 10 to 15 countries but if for, you're the, for dick size. I actually Googled it. If it's not percent, if you're in the top 10 people, that'd be sick. Yeah, I have one of the top. But ten it's not, dude. Like it's it's it's. I have one of the top ten biggest dicks of anyone from Poland. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. Uh, that's ever. gonna be my new claim to fame. Uh, I think. Dude. Ever. Put it in your bio. Yeah. You, but you can't just spout that shit off all the well, time. You Eventually, you're gonna have to show it. Like I, I'll be happy. Or to. nobody buys it. I'll be happy to. The thing is, don't show us your dick. Take a picture of your dick. Leave it on the table. <laughs> I'd be fine with that. It's different. See, with it's just that guy on the edge of the bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's a face. Dick on edge of the bed, dude. Yeah, and I I doubt Dave's Photoshop skills are that powerful. So yeah, but that's still him though. It's he's gonna be it, obvious. Like, yeah. <laughs> he just turns into a black eye. It, it'll pants. be that big black dude that everybody was sending around. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, on the edge of the bed. Yeah. Just be my face. Yeah, yeah. That's just, as soon as you take your pants off, that's I forget <laughs> from what, Atlanta. That's who you turn into. We're like I f- what? I forget what podcast I was listening to, but that's their that's their new way of saying somebody had a big dick. Like, oh, he was on the edge of the bed, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah, that's good. It's, yeah. It's, uh, euphemism is what that is, isn't it? I don't know, but it's relevant. Euphemism is that is a euphemism what that is, or is that a uh, surgical? Is that a type of surgery? <laughs> no, nope. euphemism. Euf- uh, yes, it's euphemism. Okay. Yeah, he's Polish. I'm Irish. We're not not a smart bunch. And here. I'm a quarter Irish. <laughs> Doesn't help. Yeah, you guys are in the top ten uh, percent with dick size, and like the bottom three with literacy. <laughs> yeah. I was just like say, New oh, Mexico. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like my 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 uh, his background is kind of like yeah, New Mexico and fucking Iowa had a kid. Hmm. Ooh, More black people. Not good. No. Oh, my background. Yeah. No. No. 
My background's not oh, really not, black. I, I mean, thought you meant it. like where you're from. I didn't think you. Oh no no like oh, Polish, I know you're talking Porter, about your Irish. DNA. Yeah. DNA. Sorry, I thought it was. Oh, obvious. you confuse his DNA with the city of Atlanta. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, where I'm from. Physically, I, I feel like if a white person's born in Atlanta, they're kind of <laughs> like that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, yeah. When they get too drunk, they're gonna yell at somebody that's not here for ten minutes <laughs> in front of her roommates. <laughs> yeah, dude, you right. should have seen Trevin's face. He was just like, I was like, I'm gonna let him go because she did stand us up for a podcast. Like, <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. I was like, get him. <laughs> oh no! By just, the way, I didn't even see Trevin or J- uh, Jadrian doing that. But I asked Trevin about. I was like, dude, I'm gonna ask you about this on the podcast, and he immediately tightened up because. What were you asking? About? Oh, this is like the third week in a row we're talking about it. I'm happy to talk about it any day. So Emma you Z, you got 30 seconds go. Emma Z was bleaching her hair or Jadrian's hair, unknown which. Right, and now Jadrian is spilled the bottle of bleach Korean. on to Trevin's cat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, no is, offense, Trevin. I will always talk about it. It's the yeah, funniest thing ever. That's not good. This she whole, just got a spot, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she didn't drink it. We oh, might have got. <laughs> oh, I thought the cat drank it and died. Oh, uh, yeah. The cat no. just turned white. Boring. Oh, yeah, who cares? Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you care, Trevin. But I got cares? sweatpants <laughs> with that story. It'll yeah. Grow out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just cut it off. <laughs> The ca- kill the cat put it down give cut it a, the head off give it yeah. a bald spot yeah if the cat turned white put it down get a new one cats are like 30 bucks right <laughs> <laughs> and they make white cats pretend it came like that yeah yeah, 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 yeah. pretend it came like that right at the box <laughs> fresh off the lot yeah that's how I'm I, gonna go get a beer that's how I grew these where should we um, well, how far piss is, break is Elliot? it too early to pee no no let's take a piss break piss break alright when you step better be but then uh I ain't in the game trying to make threats. I be in the game trying to get checks. More than that, much more to rap. Get Say that again. <laughs> My parents' dementia became evident. Okay. So was like, How old are they? 60s. He's 60s? Just being, yeah, he's just being an idiot. <laughs> right. He just wasn't speaking thoughtfully, maybe, or whatever. I got LASIK eye surgery two years ago. Uh-huh. And then I saw my dad, like, three days ago, and he was like, how are your contacts holding up? And I was like... What? I haven't worn contacts. Yeah, it's been three years, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, more important That's shit true. than your eye surgery yeah, has not, happened to him. Not to Elliot. <laughs> that is the most important thing. Dad, pay attention to me. Look at my yeah. shirt with my face on it. Why aren't you wearing yours? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told you we were going look, to breakfast. Look at my black nail polish. I need attention. Don't yeah. you want people to ask who the guy on your shirt is? And you could be like, that's my son. That's yeah. my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. That's what I always say. That's just what I say. Um... I was going to tell the the peeing because we stopped to pee. Mm. And so well, on the note of a road trip with peeing, I had a, a story. The most traumatic time when I pissed myself was like right at that age where like you shouldn't be peeing yourself. So when you do pee yourself, you're super embarrassed by it. And you're right. so young that you can't just brush it off and laugh. Yeah. Like if I shit my pants, I'm talking about it that night. Honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. You're just too insecure. And you're like, you know, you shouldn't pee yourself, mm-hmm. but you do. And you know, the adults are going to get mad. So like maybe like, well, like nine, eight or nine, maybe. That's a terrifying uh, time to piss your pants. Yeah. So we, my neighbor was a race car driver. And we were going. That's a song. Yeah. Neighbor was a race car driver. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play pool, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And beer never broke my heart. But anyway, my neighbor was a race car, race car driver. So he was going, like, we were driving down. We we're going to go watch. He had kids my age. Like dirt track? I, no, it was like, like sprint cars. Uh, yeah, sprint cars, sprint cars, or, uh, or uh, road track, stock, 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 stock cars? cars, stock cars, stock cars are awesome. So yeah. what's what? You know what Bandemir Speedway is? What is that? I don't know what Bandemir Speedway it's is. It's near Denver, so it was mm. isn't so it was like an hour from where we were going, and we were driving down with like two, maybe eight to ten year old kids, me and my neighbor, um, and we we're gonna go watch him do the race, and we stopped once to pee, and mm. then we were gonna. The rest of the way. We this was the one time. Go drive yeah. to the race. Yeah, and I had to pee again within like the 30 minutes between the first pee. Drinking Mountain Dew and shit. <laughs> and there like was, but the, yeah, and yeah. so it was me and like a nine-year-old and then like a two, like a, a, an infant, like a one or a two-year-old. And you're the one. So that you threw the baby out the window and yeah, said, hey, so, we got to stop. So, I mean, like, no, I intentionally peed. <laughs> yeah, so I smacked the baby so we would stop. No, so I like. Peed I knew on I had, the baby? No, I knew I had to pee, <laughs> but I like, so I intentionally, I made like the conscious decision. I was like, I'm just going to pee in my pants. Because I'm, <laughs> because I'm too embarrassed to speak up and be like... And you don't realize how hard Ugh. cleaning a yeah. full piss out of a car seat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like how and impossible it, that is. Yeah. And it just keeps going, too, when it's yeah. in your pants, by the well, way. Uh, yeah, and it I was like... Ends. I was like, this is like... This will be easier than 
like asking these adults that I aren't, you know, you don't know them very well. Like, but this is easier than being like, "Hey, can we pull over so I can take a pee on the side of the road?" It would have been no problem did they whatsoever. Not, I know that did now. They, did they yeah. not smell it? Oh yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah, but then they, but then they were like, "Uh oh, someone needs a changing." Oh And they my thought God. it was the baby. And they checked the baby. The baby baby's dry. No, What's going on? I don't remember the details that well. I, something tells me there got... was a giant piss stain on your pants. Oh, I'm sure they found out. <laughs> it's, yeah, Wait, smelt of asparagus you? in no, the car. Uh, maybe eight or nine. No, so oh, okay. I, so I know I peed myself, and then I know um, I was too embarrassed to ask, so I was like, I'll just make the conscious decision. I'm gonna pee in my pants right here. I remember them being like, uh-oh, someone needs to be changed. And then it's like, keep driving. They'll change the baby when they get there. Right. Um, and then they changed the baby, and probably the baby had also shit or pissed itself. Yeah. That's pretty much what babies do. Yeah. Right. So I was like, nice. Either that or they knew it was you. Yeah. No. And well, they were trying to be nice. Right. Yeah. I'm sure they wouldn't kid, call dude. me out. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm sure. So or either way, my parents would in my mind, <laughs> In my mind at the time, I was like, I think I've gotten away with this so far. And I remember we got out of the car, and it was raining. And I was like, thank yes. God. So I immediately just went and started playing in puddles. You're just like, like getting your. Legs. Yeah. I knew there was going to be a stain on my pants. Yeah. So I just went and jumped in puddles and was like, oh, the, <laughs> like I'd never seen water before, just trying to get as much of it on my body as possible. Oh, yeah. But they were probably like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm yeah. sure they... We're going inside, you filthy yeah. animal. Got a like fucking... when my dog rolls and shit. Like, god damn it. Yeah, you probably ended up making yourself yeah. look more of a jackass doing yeah, all I'm that. I'm sure they found out asking. eventually it was in the car yeah. seat and everything. But like, oh, shit. in my mind, I was like, whoo. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah, dude, yeah. got away with it. Just um, smelled like piss in that van yeah, for dude, years. And, and that dude's also about to go race cars. He's like trying to get in it. You know what I mean? Trying to get yeah. in his mind, right? Smells like <laughs> piss. This <kid's> like, <laughs> dude, that's weird. That's, that's weird. That is so you spot. you were just soaked yeah. outside <laughs> yeah, yeah. for hours. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. fine. It was raining. It was raining. Nobody knew you pissed yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, dude, I just thought about that. That's weird that if you're a race car driver, you have to drive normal car to the race. <laughs> you're like, not yet. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Easy. That's and how I no. feel at bars before the drive open bikes. <laughs> like, don't let it loose yet. Don't. <laughs> dude, the drive home for a race car driver's got to be even more hard, dude. Yeah, like, you got to have, dude, I would have a driver. Discipline. Yeah, like, have, your, yeah. have your wife drive or something. But I, but I remember him driving. Yeah, people on the stock car level usually aren't that baller, you know? Yeah, it's not NASCAR or anything. They're just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, they're just guys. Yeah, with, uh, dirt track, big engine. Yeah. Stock cars are fucking dope. There's dude, yeah. always a crash. Yeah. Always. And it's rare people die. But there's, I knew a lot of people growing up that did that. There's a speedway by my parents' house, and you can hear it every Saturday oh, really? night. Yep. And it's fun to go watch, dude. Is that, like, is that dirt or? It's dirt. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Dirt's dude. way more exciting. It's fun, dude. Yeah. yeah. Don't Stock give cars. me no perfect driving with no no it's a small i want to see motherfuckers drift corners yeah. you know i want to yeah. see a florida that's georgia line is. music video right now please. that's what you would see there it is, it, that's yeah, a we're... gay reference <laughs> <laughs> dude they, yeah those are definitely country singers that paint their nails and they, just take it, they just take it off before they go on stage like Can we get this out? <laughs> country people hate them <laughs> Shit, too. I'm out of yeah. not forever. like people yeah. but like respectable country artists they're just like, what yeah, the yeah. fuck is this because yeah. they're pop stars that can't read that's what and then they're like so we're country oh they're polish <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're polish pop stars that i guess so they're just like all right you're a country musician well now i hate <laughs> it. yeah exactly they have some good songs that fucking rip otherwise exactly. though, but really? i hate those guys yeah i hate those guys but they have some really good songs cool <laughs> i don't know any t swift either i like one kanye song i don't even know what it's called yeah, Con dude, I fucking hate Kanye, but he's got really good music. Dude, dude. I gave him like <laughs> a whole day, like eight hours in my truck. I listened to Kanye and it was not awesome. Man, yeah. He I, I, I don't like the dude and I think the music he's put out like I used to even have that joke about where I talk about like like outcast lyrics and how like deep they are and how and it was at the time Kanye just put out this song and the lyrics I said like so, I forgot, but I was like the lyrics are literally shit because it was that song poop poopity scoop oh yeah, yeah. Poop. that was a song that he really yeah, yeah, yeah. was proving a point he was par yeah was he par like that's what like it was either it was either like, he's a, well, a giant narcissist that's well, completely th well, unaware that. or maybe he I was, was just... proving a point that he's so goddamn famous that he can put out a track where he says yeah that. yeah that's what people said that like people that like respect him as an artist like he's parodying pop music by replacing the lyrics in pop music know. with the words poop and scoop and people still eat it up it's genius okay. not k-pop we had a k-pop star in here yesterday it was yeah. fucking right oh, profound yeah. bro yeah. yeah what would jadrian's k-pop star name be uh, something with the word big in it. <laughs> <laughs> big J. What, what are K-pop? That was bad because I don't even know what, how K-pop stars, what their names are like. Me neither. 
<laughs> Why is that bad, dude? That's good that you don't know that, dude. No, yeah. everybody You're knows our shit. We know none of theirs. That's how this works. Yeah, it's called yeah. ignorance. Look it up, idiots. Other than yeah. the British invasion <laughs> of rock and roll, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, the Beatles. Like, yeah, there's a true, lot dude. we used to yeah. know, but we don't give up fuck about other places unless they bring yeah. death to our shores right yeah, well <laughs> korea has a totally different music history than the you know, like the united states music history all comes from england and they mm. you know but the korea like did the beatles go to not jazz korea right yeah, yeah or or from, lot, or from yeah. the states yeah, yeah, yeah originated yeah. but even that would have to have influence from europe abroad right sure Fran- it, yeah korea. well it's where everybody came from there europeans were not, I guess, made yeah, america do you guys yeah. want me to talk about how um america was settled please if you don't mind just getting started on that no i don't no, right, man, cool. I can't. man, I'm so stupid. That's okay. That's okay, buddy. We, you're gonna pass today. You drove all the <laughs> yeah. way to Durango. We appreciate hey, it. Hey, you're sitting next to me, dude. You yeah. look like a goddamn genius. Well, that's okay. true. I Plus, I did a more. fucking meet and greet when I got to town at Walmart, which I didn't <laughs> wasn't on my schedule. With that one guy that was happy you were wearing a mask. No, there was yeah. another person that I recognized there. So right, right. And that guy probably wasn't even wearing a and mask. And she wasn't wearing a mask, dude. The probably. guy that said thanks for the mask was not I'd wearing a mask. <laughs> dude, that's I knew it. But he was older, and he looked like he's like, you guys should have masks on to protect me, you fuckers. I right, agree. Right. I agree. He yeah. probably fought in a war. Like right. we owe some effort, in yeah. my opinion. Like I, I do it in public places just to be respectful. Like Upper East Side liquor, there was one car in the parking lot, so I didn't wear a mask in there. Right. But yeah. all the yeah, I feel like I'm healthy. But in populated places, like I haven't been going to Home Depot because they're making people line up outside. Right. They have a, a well, that's max just, that's just, occupancy. That's just starting that's right. for you guys. Yeah. Bailey's in charge of. Well, that. it's a couple. I think it's a couple weeks now, yeah. but I've just been going to Tractor Supply because they're not counting people, yeah. and there's not very many people there, to be honest. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, I wait at line every time I go to the grocery store to get in. What? what? In yeah. Denver? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. We just it's walk like, in, dude. The first time I was like, I was like taking, I was like, this is weird. This is like, this is like bread food line. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. This is like a time where you'd be like, remember when we had to wait in line for food? Yeah. You don't. Well, that's how the right. weed stores are I here. Don't. Right. That's how the weed stores are. One at a time. Well, I, I think it's four. Okay. Yeah. And, or some, and the liquor store. Depending on how many the, people. Max, at yeah. Sixth Street Liquor, it's four people yeah. allowed in. But I've yeah. never once seen a line there. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, so Denver's doing the same thing, but there's just so many people. So many people. Right. They're exactly. like, we're allowing. You guys just haven't reached that number. Yeah. In 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 Denver, yeah. yeah no, I'm kind of glad we decided to stay this summer. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. And I, moving to Phoenix in the winter seems like the move. Yeah. Like, so you I can fall in love with it just enough to bear with the summer. Yeah, you can't move there. But I'm going to grow fucking no. tomatoes in the winter, dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm so excited your about that part. Your seasons yeah. are just flipped. Your growing season is, like, October through March. And if I threw... I, I bet if I threw up some shade cloth and shit, I could grow shit in the summer. Yeah. I'm uh, still planning... I've done this. I'm still planning on going, dude. A fan? Yeah, yeah, you might need to, like... <laughs> I could grow in the, use the air conditioning the outside. <laughs> no, a yeah. fan and a shade cloth. I bet I got this. I mean, there's things that grow in, in the summer. Around. Mm-hmm. Oof. We'll see. Like, I bet you could probably grow some dank green chili. Yeah. Green chili likes it hot and dry. Right. You could grow. Oh, what you could grow is things that already grow in that climate. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm probably. I bet it's peppers and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Makes know. sense. I'm giving I don't know. They kind of they kind of get sunburned. I talked to a Shake guy clock. from Phoenix today. He came up because they uh, reopened for like a soft opening this past week, and he said, especially down by ASU, like it was just chaos. Like chaos. Like yeah, everybody's very, playing frisbee. Everybody's and shit. playing. Every, well, everybody's Hacky everybody's set. everywhere. And there's no social distancing going on. He's like, I just had to come to my house by Perg and get away and just be around wildlife. Right. Sounds like a rich he, guy. He, yeah, definitely was. But uh, <laughs> but he was like, you know, it's just, it didn't feel right to Where'd him, you talk dude. to this guy? At, at work. He came and bought at food. At Steamworks? Yeah. Oh, like takeout? Yeah. Okay. Talk to him in the window. Oh, this guy, gotcha. fucking eat. this guy eats too? Yeah, like, like, and oh, fucking, he drank a beer. Fucking prick. <laughs> nah, no. Can you but, just drink a beer on the sidewalk? I mean... Dude, open not container technical. laws should not apply. We condone. Agreed. We don't, we don't condone it. We let them know that uh, it's technically against the law, and if the cops come by, but <laughs> we say we're not the cops, and we're not going to call yeah. the cops. So that's so what. Once we hand it to them, it's their business what yeah. they do with it. That was the same thing with the brewery show. That's why I didn't. I didn't get too specific on it because the brewery yeah. was like, like we can't serve you open beers for you to drink in the parking lot, right. but we can serve you closed beers. Legally, you can't drink in the parking lot, but. but. At yeah. that point, it's your risk. But I've also yeah. seen cops drive by groups outside of Steamworks. Like, I had a couple just the other day sit out there for three hours just ordering. They just wanted to be cold. out of the fucking house. Yeah. They yeah. ordered an entree and a beer with their entrees, and then they ordered, like, two or three more rounds after that. And they were just sitting, just the- sitting I mean, facing the street, 
beer clearly in hand. And I work on the bench. On the bench, and I work right next to fucking. I'm just gonna park out front with my lawn chairs. Police station. So at that point, so at that (laughs) point, no, you're not. So at at that point, what's the difference in just opening your patio? And just spreading the tables apart. We can't. We're not allowed. I know, I know but I'm no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, not. Oh, I'm not oh, blaming. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah. from the state perspective. No, if, yeah. If like, but I feel like rules are made for to. the asshole. That's why they feel arbitrary yeah. and made up. Like six right. feet's got to be the distance. You're like, yeah, and also you guys are doing. I mean, they also do a lot. And of the people not wearing masks in town have zero. Yeah. They give zero fucks about social distancing. Right. They don't care about the fucking signs on the floor and everything. I just do it because there's old people everywhere, and I'm like, right. It's if I kill this old people, pronoun- I could see being it's, asymptomatic. Yeah. It's, you know? the, it's the pronoun thing. Be considerate. I'm going to do what I think best based off my knowledge. Right. If you want me to do something different, let me know and I'll do and it. And I'm not yes, scared exactly. of whatever they might give me, yeah, to be I'm honest. Gonna, yeah, I'm super strong. Dude. It's not going to fucking Bro, touch I throw a kettlebell shit. around all the time. We good. Fucking touch me. Yeah, I do kettlebell swings. You think coronavirus beats kettlebell swings? Dude? I just, 65, iron sharpens iron, dog. 65-pound <laughs> kettlebell, dude. That's uh, that's in the Bible. Fuck, we should just yeah, do. Yeah, I heard it. We should do a podcast where we just say kettlebell over and over. Kettlebell, kettlebell, yeah, kettlebell. like that. <laughs> that was doing kettlebell. Swing. First time we touched that, by the way. That's yeah. how not funny this has been. Yeah, but also last time I touched it, everybody booed me, so I've been. Hesitant. Well, yeah, but you were with Jacob and Josh. I was with Ty, and it was with Tyrell. When I oh, it up. oh, yeah. When there's a black guy in the room, everybody goes after the gay guy. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Yeah, there something. you go. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good one. Every episode, I'm just like, please have something good enough to put oh. on Instagram. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I go through them sometimes, and I'm just like, Jesus, I'm yeah. not even proud of this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even. But you put it up like a shitty joke on stage. Yeah. You just put yeah. it out there. Yeah. yeah. See what happens. That right. Persistence. Just be obnoxious with it. Right. I forget what we even. Well, I forget what I was even saying before that. Well, something about. Pronouns be considered. Oh yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Because uh, oh, about the masks, yeah. about people mm. wearing masks. Like, be considerate of other people. Yeah, half the people look at you with masks and they're like, "Thank you," with their eyes, and mm-hmm. half the people or the people without masks are like, "You're a fag." Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I wear a purple bandana, so you just have like a whole cut, kind of like like that guy's a fag for the day. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of his mask. Um, it's a perfect circle. It's weird. Mm-hmm. It's a cock with the sh- one bump. Cox. Sh- yep. No. Cock, uh, cock shape. Get it. You, you'll, you'll figure can, it out. Can we cut this out? How do you know? <laughs> Negative. What if I say the N-word right after it? <laughs> then, it then it would be even funnier. Actually, <laughs> yeah. you won't. <laughs> yeah, you brought Tyrell in here. Everybody knows you don't mean it. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. I think we're doing one with Tyrell soon, too. Word. He just finally reached back to me nice yeah so now it'll be another like six months and then yeah. hear from him i didn't again. even let him know i was in town because by the time he replies i'm gonna be gone he didn't <laughs> <laughs> he never came to a mic afterwards <laughs> the whole time he was like i'm back and i was like i can't wait dude and uh, then uh, where is he yeah <laughs> i mean he stands out you'd not, see him quick you'd see him immediately quick. yeah, yeah. Where, oh, oh look dude. tyrell right there i thought about tyrell today yeah, actually check your wallet and then you're like oh it's tyrell <laughs> I thought about Tyrell today actually because I, I pulled out my unemployment debit card and right behind it was this NCAA or uh, NAACP there you go, card Atlanta. that I got and like I got this in the mail like six months after like starting to do my wigger bit and mm. I, I it was the weirdest thing I never applied for anything it's right. just like that uh, one lady at Eno it was just like, applied to you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It was the weirdest thing. Like, I had been doing this joke about how I used to act black for about six months on stage, and out of the blue, I got an N- NAACP 2018 supporter <laughs> card. And I've yeah. kept it in my wallet ever since. But I remember the, the first night I brought it out on stage and showed everybody. It was at the ranch. I saw Tyrell run from, like, the booth where Justin stood to the other side. You know, like... <laughs> Black run, like laugh, like black, <laughs> la- black laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. We it know went, way it, better it, what you mean because you said that. Yeah, it, it, it made it made it, to this day that moment was one of my happiest on stage when I saw him laugh that hard yeah. at that. Yeah, but it was weird. It was just yeah, yeah well, it, 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 and it is cultural appropriation for you to carry it around, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm no, I just confuse somebody if they rob me or something. Yeah, they're like, oh, he is black. Oh, shit. Yeah. Give him a shit back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's one of us. Fuck, my bad. <laughs> he's light skin. All right, okay. <laughs> In this town, you are far more likely to be robbed by a white man. By a Mexican. I know. Yeah. I almost said. Dude, we had Chad Hare on recently. Said. Mexican food? 
to. I can't wait to go to, to get some pickup from Zia's. Tacos Night Reef, bro. Oh, oh Zia's? Zia's. Zia Taqueria? That's my plan, dude. I didn't bring any food. I'm going to support local business while I'm here. Fuck so. yeah. yeah. There's a Night Reef by Walmart now. Wow, they're opening them up all over the place, dude. Think that think they're doing good shit. Well, they're taking over, yeah. uh, obviously. That reads good. I would still go to the original. I don't know. Walmart I don't mean? know why. I would probably farther from Walmart. Not yeah. drive all the way across town. Yeah. Yeah. It's for people that live over here, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you Walmart, <laughs> fucking East Siders, dude. I also, some Southeast. Dude, what if Durango had a gang? Like, what side of town are you from? <laughs> like, it's we're just from the town, man. They kind of do. <laughs> Everybody down here grows shit. It's pretty smart. And everybody up there does not. Yeah, yeah. The seg- it's just like it's like the urban blue center and then just like the rural oil people. It's with the, the growers red. versus yeah. the showers. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Blue versus red, baby. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Pay myself purple and chase somebody with a hatchet. It's going to be a <laughs> sick fight, dude. That's why I wear a purple bandana <laughs> in public. It's like I'm in the middle. Yeah, what color mask do you guys wear? I like you, gay you, people and guns. If you do bandanas. I don't have any red. I only have blue. So I only have a purple one. Wearing blue I bandana. got a red one, a green one, and... um. Like a silk gray so just, one. Yeah, just, Dave used to rob banks. He's just picking teams based on what they <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck You're like, yeah, Guys, dude. what color? <laughs> dude, I yeah. got it. I, 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 yeah, I, when I, you buy heroin, I, you have I play to do both, that. I play yeah. both sides. And yeah, yeah. Even though the town is this small, they don't figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I'm a neutral, baby. That's yeah. why I go with purple. Everybody just thinks I'm gay, not a threat. Well, yeah, actually, if you, just, if you don't <laughs> well, wear green debatable. if you don't wear green and drink, you'll get your tires slashed because you got to tell everybody you recycle. That's fair. The green mask. Nobody fucks with my green truck because it God looks like it, there's Ellie a gun in it. <laughs> good in my head. It does, your tr- is there not a gun in your there truck? There is a gun in it. Yeah. 